most women who are trying to do it all are very hard driving overachievers and um, a lot of what is giving us stress is what we put on ourselves. I'm Diane. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where we help you stop the stress and dump the self-judgment and learn new hacks from other moms to better juggle career and kids. We all benefit when we meet moms like Tamara who share their stories. She was really excited to tell us about her new role at work with more leadership. But you know what sometimes comes with more responsibility? More time away from family. You might be struggling with the same dilemma of having a rising career, but worrying about it taking away from your young kids. Find out what Tamara did when she was facing the same dilemma. What is your career? Uh, I'm in HR, human resources. How old are your kids? Uh, I have two boys, three and eight. So you're at that stage where things are just starting to get pretty hectic if they're getting involved in activities and sports and all that. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you work full time. It's been a, you've been working full time since you had them. Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I've had them later. So I'm almost 50 and I have a three year old. <laughs> wow. Were you trying for a while or was it just? Uh, we we got married uh, later and then we had our first one. Uh, and then we adopted the second one. You adopted the second one? We did, yep. Wow, congrats to you. So that's a whole nother world you have to learn about and experiences you have to deal with. And it's not necessarily easier, right? It's just different? Just different, yep. Exactly. And so all that time, did you ever question, okay, I'm doing all this effort to adopt a child and perhaps paying a lot of money. Maybe I should step back and just go part-time or, you know, let the husband finance the family. Or did you ever question any of that or was it like, no, this is my career and this is important to me? Um, I'm actually at the point of questioning that now. What are the hardest trade-offs? What is it that you really, that would, would differ about your life if you were part-time or not working? What would you get to enjoy more with them? Um, I think it's just the time and space to let things evolve and happen and just have more room uh, and more t to give them more attention, I think, because you, you know, you're, you're pulled in a number of different directions all at the same time when you're trying to do both. And is some of it you just feeling stressed out? What, what gets you stressed out and how do you deal with that? I think it's workload and trying to make sure that you know everybody is challenged and you know that the, everyone's needs are met um, so it's just trying to keep all the balls in the air at the same time everyone's needs at home at work both are you a supervisor yeah I am So you're nurturing all over the place I am I am yep do you nurture yourself I attempt to <laughs> do you think you do it enough I do not. <laughs> what are the things, if you weren't working as much, that you would take care of when it comes to yourself? Uh, I would work more or work out more. Um, and uh, I would probably have more time to uh, better plan meals and be a little bit healthier in that area. So those two big things. So you moved for your job. So it was a bump up in pay, prestige? Um, it was just a career shift that I was looking for um, from a 100,000 person organization to much smaller organization where I had more leadership role and uh, impact. As a working mom, a big factor was travel, um, which continues to be a challenge. I'm at a point in my life where, you know, you accept what is and, you know, you can't be perfect in every area, don't try, uh, and you just make it all work. You do the best you can you start to think about the trade-offs that you're making and trying to figure out if it's what you really want, um, you know. Just like Tamara, sometimes the hardest part isn't actually making a change, it's figuring out exactly what you want first. And sometimes it doesn't have to be all or nothing. It'd be something as simple as adjusting your work hours, like the moms talk about in this next video. They figured out how to find their ideal schedule, sometimes in their current job, and sometimes by finding a new one. You can do it too, just check it out, and don't forget to spread a little of your own love to another mom who needs it.